What's up YouTube? Doing a quick video on my first oil analysis after installing my NUC oil filter bypass system. Right here is kind of hard to see. I've got 5,432 miles on the oil change. That was taken at 176, 828. Right now I have 177, 847. So this has been taken quite a while ago. But if you read, if you need to uh, screenshot it or not, basically they said the oil looks great. I have no contaminants and I can push this oil change to two or 3,000 miles over what I'm doing. The 7.3 from the factory Ford recommends 5,000 mile oil changes. As you guys know, especially if you buy good oil, like the uh, Rotella T6 or Shapers or whatever, that can be pretty expensive. So my plan was, was to install this bypass system and extend my oil changes. I also added Arch Oil and I also added a Lucas Oil Stabilizer, which as they uh, describe in this little narrative, that it actually um, thickens the oil up. I think I'm going to stick with the Arch Oil and put the Lucas in it the next time as well. Kind of expensive, but it's going to pay off. I think I'm going to run this oil to around 9,000 miles and then change the oil and then send in another analysis just to have it checked out. Maybe I can go to 10,000 and double interval. I mean, that's money in the bank, guys. I mean, we this oil change is expensive in the 7.3. Uh, it's especially if you put good oil in it. So what I'm going to do now um, What I'm going to go. I'm, I'm sorry guys I'm getting ahead of myself, but here's some of my uh, The potassium and the boron and the sodium are high Because of the arch oil and they talk about that in the narrative But down here is where I want to say this this engine is doing really well. There is no antifreeze There's barely any fuel in the in, in, in the oil and the water, there's no water. The TBN, which is your, your total base number, is kind of where they uh, give you an idea of how long you can run the oil. And mine is running strong at um, 8.1 when usually it's less than one. So um, looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna set the phone down, I'm gonna pull the dipstick, I'm gonna show you how clean the oil is still. Uh, it is super clean. My first video of uh, my first review of this system I probably had like 2,500 miles or almost 3,000 miles on that oil change on that oil so it looked really clean in my first video but this one you know I'm I'm sitting over 6,500 miles almost and it still looks just as good as before so right this way I'm gonna set the phone down for a second I'm sorry All right guys, here's the dipstick. And it's really kind of hard to see because it's it's kind of, it's dark outside, it's getting ready to rain here in Missouri. But look at that. I mean, you can still see through the oil. Most, like I was saying before, when I work at the fire department, this shit is so black all the time, even right after they change it. Yeah, I understand I'm not idling all the time and I'm not I'm not ambulance duty, but I mean look how clean it is. I mean that's over that's over 6,500 miles. So I am anticipating that I can run this oil for a long time. And obviously I don't want to go too far because I want to treat this this engine well. But you know, the bypass filter is like 40 bucks, you know, your full flow filter is about ten dollars. Depending on where you live and you know now instead of a 15 or 16 quart oil change now that I added the bypass filter this is like an 18 quart oil change I mean this is an expensive oil change so I want to extend this as far as I can and if you guys have any questions let me know but really I'm not lying to you guys I'm trying to uh, do a scientific review of this and when I do another 
um, when I do the oil change and I do my last review uh, or uh, oil analysis of the oil, I will uh, post it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.